Welcome to MAT2LB booklet number nine, fractions part two, lesson number six, dividing fractions, one fraction and one mixed fraction or mixed number. So this is the final lesson. This is again similar to the other lessons insofar as we are going to be dividing fractions and our goal is to get one fraction divided by another fraction. So a mixed number, not good for us. We wanna change mixed numbers or mixed fractions into fractions, improper fractions, before we start the division process. So let's have a look at example number one. One half divided by two and one quarter. So the first thing we are going to do, as I said, is convert this bad boy into an improper fraction. So I'm just gonna sort of do that off to the side over here so I can save some space. We are going to do denominator times whole number, which is four times two, that's gonna give us eight. We're gonna take that answer, add it to our numerator, which is nine, and we are going to write our mixed number then, or our improper fraction rather, as nine over four, four being the old and kept denominator. So there we have it. Let's now rewrite this as a fraction divided by a fraction, so one over two divided by nine over four, and we are going to now go about the division process, and we do that by keeping the first fraction, changing, division to multiplication, and inverting the second fraction. So let's write that out right now. One over two, whoops, one over two times four over nine. And now we're gonna do this just like every other multiplication of fractions. Question, we're gonna multiply numerator by numerator. That's going to give us four. And we are going to multiply denominator by denominator. Two times nine will give us 18, so that's our answer so far. Let's rewrite that. And we are going to look for a factor that's common to both four and 18, so let's do that now. There's four, there's 18. We have one in common, two in common, and that's it. So it looks like we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by two. And when we do that, we get four divided by two gives us two and 18 divided by two gives us nine. So our answer then is going to be two ninths. So that's our procedure. Again, just quick recap. If we're dividing fractions and we want to, uh, and we happen to have a mixed number, we wanna turn that into an improper fraction before we go on. So that's how we tackle it. Let's have a look at example number two. Example number two, divide the following fraction and mixed number, three and one fifth divided by four, over 10. So again, we have a mixed number in there and we're dividing, so we wanna get rid of that mixed number. We do that by taking denominator times whole number, that gives us 15. We take that new answer, add it to our numerator, gives us 16. So our mixed number as an improper fraction then will be 16 over five. So now let's rewrite this. We have 16 over five divided by four over 10. And we're going to treat this like any other division problem involving fractions where we keep the first fraction, change from division to multiplication, and invert the second fraction. So let's do that now on a rewrite. We've got 16 over five times 10 over four equals. And now we're gonna treat this just like any other multiplication question. We're gonna multiply numerator by numerator which is going to give us 160. Again, if those numbers are a little bit too large, by all means, use your calculator. And we are going to multiply denominator, whoops, denominator by denominator. That is going to give us 20. And now we are going to reduce this as best we can. Um, we are going to, this is again, it exceeds our factor chart a little bit, but we are going to rewrite this as 160 over 20. And we're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 20. And that is going to give us eight over one, or just eight will work just fine. So our answer to this question is going to be eight. So that's the procedure for dividing a fraction and a mixed fraction or a mixed number. So what I'd like you to do now is hit pause in the video and I'd like you to try example A on your own. So when you've completed example A, you've got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. 
Okay, let's have a look at this. We've got two-thirds divided by one and one-sixth. So the first thing we want to do is convert that mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So let's take six times one. That's going to give us six. And then we're going to have six plus the numerator. That's going to give us seven. So our improper fraction is going to be seven over six. So let's rewrite that in. We have two over three divided by seven over six equals, and we are going to keep the first fraction. We are going to change division to multiplication, and we are going to invert the second fraction. So let's write that out now. Two over three times six over seven equals. Now we're going to treat this like every other multiplication question involving fractions. Numerator times numerator. Two times six will give us 12. And we multiply denominator times denominator. Three times seven will give us 21. So now we are going to rewrite. That's our answer so far. And we're gonna check our factor chart and see what the greatest common factor is in both. When we check that, we will find that the greatest factor common to both is going to be three. And when we do that arithmetic, we get 12 divided by 3 will give us 4, and 21 divided by 3 will give us 7. So our answer is 4 sevenths. At this point, hopefully you got that one right. Now head off and try example B on your own. And when you've got an answer for example B you're confident about, come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, let's get a look. This is... A mixed fraction divided by a proper fraction. So our first step is to convert. So we are going to convert that mixed fraction into a, an improper fraction. So we've got 3 times 5. That's going to give us 15. And 15 plus 1. That's going to give us 16. And that means that our new improper fraction will be 16 over Three. So for us, let's start a rewrite step here where we've got 16 over 3 divided by 2 over 9. So here we are going to keep the first fraction, change the second fraction, or rather change division to multiplication, and invert the second uh, fraction. So let's rewrite that now. We have 16 over 3 times 9 over 2. And now this is the same as any other multiplication um, question involving fractions. We're going to multiply the numerator by the numerator. So these numbers are a little bit bigger than the ones that we're no used to seeing. So feel free to use your calculators at this point. This is going to give us 4... 144 and denominator times denominator that will be 3 times 2 which will give us 6. Now from here we are going to reduce this. Again this exceeds what we're going to normally see on our list a fair bit so I would recommend anytime you're in a position like this you want to just try dividing by the largest of the two or rather the smallest of the two um, numerator and denominator depending. In this case, let's rewrite our answer so far. This is 144 over 6. We're going to try dividing our numerator and denominator both by 6, which is a good strategy. So we can type into our calculator 144 divided by 6, and that will give us 24, and 6 divided by 6 will give us 1. So we can just write this as 24 if we'd like. So this is our answer to example B. This is also the end of unit or booklet number nine. So if you're feeling good about this uh, concept, head off and give the homework a try. And after that, good luck on the review and good luck on the test. And we'll see you in booklet number 10.